Hello, everybody. My name is Max Farrell. This is DexFXMarkets.com, and we're over at our sister company, DexWebTools.com. This is where you're going to be purchasing your VPS for your Xenon system. So simply want to go over to Hosting, go down to VPS. Very simple. This is where it's going to get a little confusing, okay? Because what we do is we have an understanding of VPS either in a what we refer to as a Linux system or a Windows system. A Linux system is really where a lot of people house their websites uh, and stuff, where a Windows server will be something like your home computer, but remote. So we're going to hit on this self-managed VPS uh, 29 per month. And I'm going to show you, there'll be a little change here, but we'll, I'll show you how this works out. So we just click on this first one, configure your server. Okay. Here you're going to choose the Windows 2016. Now it's going to say 12 months over there. We're just going to choose the one month. I have not limited it down because I really took a lot of the money out of uh, the process here for your Windows server. If you're going to be staying with the Linux server, it would be a little bit cheaper, but a Windows server has a little bit more security uh, to it. So that's why it's just a little bit more than the other systems here. Okay, so what's originally $29 is actually $34 because originally this server was $39 and we removed $5 from it. Okay, you're then going to continue on down. Um, you're going to see no control panel. You don't need one. Hit, con hit continue. So this will bring us to our page with uh, our, our checkout on it, you're going to check out from this point and I'll show you what it looks like from inside. Once you have purchased, you're going to come in and go to your products. And under your products, I have a lot of stuff in here. I do apologize. Um, and you come down to servers. So what this means is that you're going to have to wait a few minutes, probably have to refresh your screen a couple of times and go down to the process here. Here we go. Still waiting for pending to finish. And that'll take a couple minutes. And once that's done, because it's we're sort of setting everything up, uh, your, your account is being provisioned. Although it will be most likely done within minutes, it may take up to 24 hours. So keep that in mind. If there is any problem, please contact Dex Web Tools, not me, Max at Dex Effects. Uh, I, I run Dex Effects and I have somebody else running the Dex Web Tools. So make sure you contact them. There's a phone number up there and everything. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video, stop the video here. And uh, we'll come back when we're provisioning and going through the setup of our server. Okay, so once you come down to your servers and you get to your Windows 2.2 CPU, okay, you're going to hit on Manage. And clicking on Manage will bring you over to a page. Now, if you've clicked on Manage and can't find an account, that means that they're still catching up to uh, um, getting your server started. So what we're going to do now is just configure your server. You're going you're gonna to name it, right? So I'm just going to call this my... Uh, let's just call it my Zedon Live system, right? Okay. Uh, whatever it's going to be. Uh, choose a data center. And so if you're in Asia or if you're in Europe, go ahead and choose one of these. But I'm in the United States, so I'm going to click that. Okay. We got the operating system already is Windows 2016. And I'm going to hit next. Okay. This is going to give me a username and a password. Now, I'm not going to show you the password here. Uh, to confirm this process. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to put my stuff in um, at that time. We put my admin username as, as I want it. You can always call back in uh, or change this stuff in, in future. So I'll show you in future videos. Okay. I've confirmed my password. I'm hitting next. This is going to be requesting the server to be made and provisioned. So I'm going to pause the video here, and we're going to come back once this is finished. The little um, visit view service should be available by then. Okay, so it took a couple minutes. I'd say about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but finally popped up. It says view server, so I'm going to pop that little link right there. It's going to be back me, bringing me back into my system here, and this is going to put all the information right in front of you. Okay. Um, the, a couple of the big things is remember that you have to act, be able to access this now. Okay, so this is where we're looking at the uh, action server, whether stop it, restart it, rebuild it, what have you. Okay, it's already been started. Okay, we click on to monitoring up here to the top left. You'll be able to see the usage of it, the backups. Okay, you can do a backup of the system, so make sure that it doesn't lose any information. But the uh, software we're going to be using is very light. Recovery console, we don't need to worry about that, and settings. Now, this is something that you want to be able to be on 
when the time comes because we're going to now in the next video we're going to go over and get remote access to be able to get to this server using a remote access plugin uh, system right on your Windows server or whatever other system you're using whether it's your phone or or pad or or what have you you want to be using a remote remote server access point and we'll show you how to use that here in a second okay so this is how to get to your make your server in the next video we'll show you how to access it